Hello everybody, I'm out here with Paris, our six month old Labradoodle, and we are out having our afternoon walk completely off leash. Not only is she completely off leash, this is actually the first time I, Julie, have worked with her. So it just goes to show how nicely the training transfers from one person to the other. Josh has done all the work leading up to this point. All I did was put her leash on, put her collar on, told her to heal, start walking. It can transfer to anybody who knows how to use it, and that's what you'll be learning at the go-home session. How to use the e-collar, how to use the remote, and how to use the commands. So as you can see, she's completely off-leash reliable. No more dragging you down the street. No more refusing to move. No more pulling you. Just walking nicely at your side. And I could walk for miles like this. She is trained to stay at the left side and slightly behind. That is literally what the word heel means. Their head at the level of your heel. When I'm looking down, I see her head and it's in this imaginary circle like a strike zone in baseball. If her head moves too far forward, too far to the left, too far back or behind my legs, that's when I use my e-collar. Tone button, the button with the T on it, beep, 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 it should get her back in position. She's fully trained on the e-collar, so you're never going to be yanking a leash. Good girl. When I stop, notice she stops too. That's because she's paying attention to me. She doesn't just keep on walking. She's more in tune to me than I am really to her. She's got to be paying attention to me. Okay, so when we stop, I'm going to go ahead and tell her, well, she already knows. You can tell we've been working. Down and then stay. The practicality of this is that you can use it to stop and pick up poop. You can stop and answer your phone or text or talk to somebody. If she's at the office, she can hang out in any room in a downstay. And she'll stay like this until she's either released or given another command. Now, now the reason this works so well is accountability. She knows that there are consequences if she breaks the rules that we've set for her. So she can't just get up and walk away, right? If she breaks her downstay, we would say N-O and click the collar repeat down if needed, okay? If there are no consequences, then th she just does whatever she wants. That's just how it works with the dogs. Because we've taught her this system of praise and rewards and consequences, she listens when we tell her to do something, and she gets good girls when she's doing it right. That's a good girl, Paris. That's a good girl. She's a follower. The other thing I wanted to show you is her recall, which means coming when called. If you have a dog who comes when called, it means they can be off leash and you don't have to worry. So what you're going to do is you're going to give the verbal, which is C-O-M-E, paired with the tone, which is the T button on the collar. It's going to beep by her ear and she's trained to come when you call her. She'll come and sit or stand somewhere in front of me. Okay, come. Good girl. There she is. Good girl. Stay. From there, I can either put her into a stay, I can release her, or we can start walking again. Hey Paris. Break. Good girl. Place. Good girl. Another thing we've been working on is coming in from our walk or playtime and going right to place instead of free roaming around the house.